Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, to the world of Wayne. We haven't done one of these for a while. I've been sent a package from Mike Lane, the immortal god that is Mike Lane. Uh, and I've got them to show you here because they really are going to blow you away. Uh, first off, we're going to be having some mini cable ties uh, in the black colour. Uh, all of these are going to be available through Mike Lane's site, which is going to be down here. Then we're going to have a vinyl wrap for the Mr. Fusion. And last but not least, we're going to have some fuel to put in it. Okay, so without further ado, what I'll do is I'll keep Mike Lane's link down here. Uh, if you want any of these mods or you're interested in them, then just head on over to that website and you can order these yourself. I do believe they get shipped worldwide, but uh, you'll have to check the uh, terms and conditions when you do do that order. Uh, the first thing that's been sent to me are the cable ties. Now, we had these before in white uh, and they look just like this. As you can see, I've already taken one out, as you can see here. Uh, and they are tiny. Now, I think I've measured them uh, and you've got three centimeters in length by one millimeter, <laughs> one millimeter. Now, I've tried to take one out to show you how small these actually are. Now, I'm hoping we can focus. There we go. It's like a hair. Absolutely tiny. But what these things can do, I mean, just check out these pictures. Uh, I mean, you can use these in uh unison with the white ones as well and they look really good and the thing is with uh mike as you can see here as well he's put the instructions of exactly how to use these uh especially saying don't cut them don't twist them don't break them and whatever you do don't stretch them and as you can see there's different sizes here and how to get them out to uh release them uh and get them out easily but they are really tiny and i'm sure you'll agree with some of the pictures that i posted up there they are really impactful. Uh, now, I will be putting these on the outside of my vehicle. I think it's a little bit too late for me to just look at that. Look, it's, it's indistinguishable between, from my beard here. Um, I think you'll agree that uh, these will look good on the outside of the vehicle. Inside the vehicle, I don't think I can get in there anymore because uh, the whole thing's sealed up and there's no way I'm going to be taking it apart to do that. But if you're at that stage where you are doing the cables inside the vehicle, that will be invaluable. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is the vinyl wrap for the Mr. Fusion. Now, the Mr. Fusion transfer looks just like that. And the reason that we're going to have a transfer, as you can see, with the uh, Eagle Moss one, you've got these unsightly holes here and here. Uh, they don't look very good at all. Now, before, we can't just put this uh, transfer on, uh, because what will happen is where it goes over these holes, it's going to start to indent in them. So the first thing we're going to need to do is fill these holes. Now, I'm going to be using some filler. Uh, into these holes, smooth it off, and then we'll get on to put the uh, transfer on. So there we go, I've just filled those with normal filler, and I've smoothed them down as well, so that uh, when the transfer goes over the top of that, that's not gonna uh, ingress into the holes now. Now, we're gonna apply the transfer. Now, once again, all of the instructions of how to do this are in the uh, instructions on Mike Lane's website, uh, but what he suggests is if you start from the back here and get that lined up, just like that then I'm going to make sure it goes all the way around underneath the bridge there it's an absolute perfect fit you won't really have to do anything to be honest with you make sure it matches up on this side again tidy down the back there and I'm sure you'll agree with me that looks a million billion times better absolutely brilliant that in itself uh is pretty amazing i'm glad that's been done because i am going to be uh, having my delorean with uh, the mr fusion on top of it so uh, i'm really happy with how that's turned out it is quite funny actually uh, one of the cards that mike uh, gives you when you get these uh <laughs> it's on the back of it i don't know if you can see this in the light but they've actually got the uh, mr fusion logos on there <laughs> which is pretty clever uh, there you go look it's shining in the light there it's just the little details with mike clay i tell you they always put a smile on my face but uh, look at that that looks amazing absolutely really happy with that now can't wait to get out on the vehicle now the only other thing is we want to put some fuel in it fuel what do you mean plutonium rods no we're getting the plutonium rods with the actual build and i believe that's from issue 127 to 130 what we're getting is check these out 
Now, hopefully, this is gonna, <laughs> look at my hands, all covered in white. Uh, can you see the details on the beer can here? So we've got a little beer can there, and we've got two banana skins, exactly what he was putting into the car at the end of Back to the Future 1. There's the first one, and here's the second one. These are plastic, and they are really detailed, as you can see. Now, the problem is, if we were to open our little Mr. Fusion hatch just like that, and throw them in, bump one, two and the can three in they go uh it's gonna fall into the engine bay which we don't want to happen because we'll lose it so what we need to do is we need a cover to put over this bit here now luckily enough in this pit kit this is the third item you can buy you actually get a little plastic bit that's going to go over this to stop them falling out and basically all we have to do is undo the screws that we've already got in there which is keeping the uh mr fusion on top of the vehicle there so that's one Get the second one out. Two. And there's the third one. Three. And then all we're going to do is put this in place here. Lining up the holes. And then screw it back in again. There we go. So now we can open it up. Put our fuel in there. One, two, three. Close it back up. And then as you can see, it hasn't fallen out. It's just in here and if we want to get it out we just take this part off just like this and then just uh tip them back out again how easy is that and i think that looks pretty impressive i mean you just can't appreciate i think i've got my ruler here actually let me just tell you what sort of scale you're looking at the can is about one and a half centimeters by about one centimeter really tiny stuff but i'm sure you'll agree that's another impressive mod uh that mike sent now mike i'm really happy thank you so much for sending these uh, i'm going to make use of all of these and if you want these yourself as I said just head on over to mike lane's site here this isn't just the only things he's got he's got hundreds of things for the delorean on there so if you are interested in them then uh by all means go over to the site see what interests you and uh, you can soup up your vehicle like i've been doing to mine anyway hope you like that quick video take care Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please remember to give it a like. And if you haven't done so already, please remember to subscribe. Take care.